right, this is Johnny Slick again uh, with Splinter Cell. Perhaps I can help you, sir. By fetching your superior. I'm all there is. How can I help you? I'd like to register a complaint. Then you'll have to ask at the desk to your right. Very well. This is awesome. May I help you? You're the same cop. Yes, but this is the public relations... There's only one room in here, buddy. What are you... Of course, sir. If you could just have a Man. Somebody's ready to help you. You've got to be kidding me. I could easily have you arrested, sir. Now, can I get in here? Unidentified uh, apparently not. Nope. Apparently I can. All right. So, as I was saying, this is Johnny Slick. Um, I've somehow managed to grab this guy. Uh, so, I did do a little bit of housekeeping uh, while we were away. Uh, primarily, I went and uh, put away the two bodies that I created uh, down on the lower floor, uh, that in order to not set the alarms off too badly. Um, anyway, hit you on the head. And apparently you kind of fell through me a little bit. Uh, let's see. So I need to find a good... Oh, hey, that's nice. I'll take that medical kit. Um, otherwise, oh, yeah, in, in need of finding... A good, solid place to hide this guy. Um, oh, here we go. Light switch. Perfect. No, Sam, don't shoot the body. Put the body away. I just wondered why in a game that took so much time working on the lighting, it ends up being where, like, not only... Can you play this just with the uh, the X-ray specs on all the time? But it's kind of what you want to play. Now, let's see. Okay, so I made it past here. Moving on. Oh, my health is getting kind of low, isn't it? Time to go, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Sam, you are a laugh riot. Okay. Hmm. Uh, apparently, I just did that to go around the long way. All right. Okay, there's a guy right there who's facing away from me. I, what is he looking at? Not complaining. But let's see what we can do. Come on. Come on. Right on him. There we go. Got nothing to say? Well, fine. Probably don't want to leave him out in the open like this. Though it's kind of dark. So uh, we'll go ahead and move him down here. Yep, movie, movie, move, move him down. All right, there we go. <laughs> Are you kidding me? All right. So uh, after poking around outside for quite a while, I found out that that was a big red herring. Okay. So those guys, I uh, probably don't need to be taking on several of them at once. So I'm just going to sneak on by. Yep. 
Maybe step into here. Come on, close the door. There you go. That'll work hey, too. I'm in here. Turn the lights back on. Uh oh. That wasn't good. Actually, that worked out pretty well. Ha <laughs> ha! Fortunately, he doesn't have any secrets, so. Bop you on the head. Okay. Thanks for doing the lights on, though. It kind of makes it a little bit easier for me. It's Russian cops, you know, they aren't so bad. They're a little bit corrupt, but they're, they're courteous. I'll give them that. All right, let's see what's on the data stick. From Officer Beso Chasevili. Well, that name I, I might understand a little bit more. But yeah, again, not Sergeant Ramaz, Lord Kipanidzi. No. Lord Kipanidzi, sir. I just returned from hospital. Well, about two and three quarters men remain in critical condition. I saw them too. You, they were dead. Beats cop taking statements from doctors at a picture perfect description. The men's attackers. I'm sorry. My Russian accent's dying. Your friend Grinko and some ogre named Nikolai. You may want to put in a call to the commissioner. That's my, <laughs> sound like I'm Indian now, I think. <laughs> Over at the Indi Indi Eastern Precinct. If you want to keep your friends from drawing more attention than they need right now. Okay, yeah. Apparently, I have never met a Russian person in my life. And I, wow. Uh, to my friend Teethering, I would like to uh, formally apologize for that. <laughs> Let's see. It's okay. The Russians are okay with racism. They're used to it. Okay, so it uh, it seems to me that going out the um, that door across from that guard would be a horrendous idea. So let's go ahead and try this one. So one thing about getting into the, uh, getting out of the lighting mode. Oh, look at that guy. Yeah, what do you want? Come on, tell me, tell me some facts about about the surveillance system, sir. I have a gun to your head, even though I'm probably not going to use it because I only have ten bullets. Really, not because I care about you. Also, tell me more about your unibrow. Wow, man. Do they not sh sell, like, eyebrow razors in Russia? Cause you seem pretty shaven around the face, but you got a real Frida Kahlo thing going there, buddy. <laughs> man, you're not a good-looking man. Well, put you out of your misery. There you go. You can be good-looking, uh, bad-looking, and sleepy. Well, you've got to take your satchel. Ooh, another data stick. Looky here. Okay, I'm not going to try doing this in the Russian accent now. Uh, Gizo, I don't trust Kavzade. I don't care who he's related to. I don't don't want him within throwing distance of our horse. Why? Who brought a horse into this? It's no good for surveillance. First rule of surveillance: don't use a horse. There, that's our guy. We got him red-handed. Then you run his face through echelon. Already on it. Hey, check it out. A license plate. 84KP214. Fantastic. Fantastic. What we need. Rendezvous with Wilkes, your work here is done. All right. We'll get back to you once we've sifted this intel. So what you're saying then is, Rendezvous, now I'm through with you. Or am I overcoming? Hey, buddy. Don't take this personal. I just uh, can't have you walking around, and you have the same unibrow problem. In fact, you you guys could be twins. Very, very eerie. Now I'll go ahead and pack up this body and put it over in the surveillance room. See, because it's ironic. See, they're like unconscious people looking out for the unconscious. I guess that. Computers make them kind of well lit, though. That's the problem. The feeling like somebody's going to find them. I'm probably freaking out for no reason, but then again, 
I mean, I am almost at the extraction point. But, you know, the way the rest of this mission is gone, I don't think I'm going to risk it. You can be down there and have be with your buddy. All right. Now, to egress the facilities. There'll be four out. Can't check their computer. These computers have anything going? Nope. They, they left it nice. Oh, here we go. From Kaki, Kaki, that's his name, really. Kaki Barakashvili. I feel like Barakash, no, I guess that is Georgian. I, there's the one, oh, it's Onis is the uh, Lithuanians. Every Lithuanian person appears to have the first name ending in us and the last name ending in Onis. Like, you can make yourself your own Lithuanian name by being like, my name, for example, would be uh, Johnius Slikonis. See, it's easy like that. Um, I know this from the uh, the basketballs. There was a basketball player named Ar Arvidas Sabonis and another guy named Sarunas Marshallonis. So you can kind of see where that goes. I'm pretty sure every single person, based on that two-person sample, you may be saying that's a small sample size, but I say that's a big sample size. Two people. That's like half of Lithuania right there. Anyway, this one's to Officer... Actually, it's just to Office. Beso Chase Vili. Gentlemen, you'll be here... You'll all be heading crowd control teams at next Friday's political rally in Morevi Square. I'm about to read this like, apparently Russian people send emails to each other in a Russian accent. Like, you'll be heading crowd control team. No, there is a team, though. So, Nikolazzi's people have warned me that the president plans to make some extremely inflammatory statements. He's getting the people riled up. Get ready for some big news in the next couple weeks. Chiklitzvadze, let's not be so free and easy with the tear gas. <laughs> we want the people angry, not revolution. Keep it to the tons. Revolutionary, by the way. All right. I like it's very thoughtful of them to sort out the computers I can use. The ones that I can use are all using Windows. And the ones that I can't are all like on Linux, it looks like. Let's see here. From Sergeant Ramaz Lort Kipanidze to Officer Gizo Giorgio Biani. That's Italian. Come on. It's not even Georgian. Gizo. I need you to stop by and pick up the concierge at the Hotel Begarubi for questioning. Make up whatever charges you see fit, something he won't be able to incline to talk about. Once you get him back to the station, have him resist arrest and break something painful. Wow. These are not very nice people. It's a favor for a very influential friend, <laughs> says the guy who's basically knocked out every single person that he's met so far. Do it well and we'll both be a lot richer for it. All right, now to get out of this popsicle stand. You know what? I have this thing. Why don't I use that? Because he doesn't want to use it, that's why. Okay, well, so much for that idea. Okay, so even when I... Uh... No, don't shoot the door, Sam. For sure. Okay, apparently when he gives you a door that he doesn't really want you to open, he just walks it. There we go, and I'm out the door. Green. Mission complete. Yeah, I think I'm going to need to be going through to the next mission, though, because <laughs> this was this was not mission-y enough. All right. The bodies of agents Blowski and Madison were located in the morgue of a Tbilisi police precinct. Well, this is all stuff that you've already presumably seen me do and butt-clenched your way all the way through all right, so here we are at the next uh, assignment. Looks like I am, uh, let's see, after those two guys got killed for getting too close, and I might have died about 20 times or so. Um, we're moving on to President... Uh, let's see, we're going to be somewhere. Echelon got a positive ID on your target from the Moor security camera. A guy named Yashiklav Vinkov. How do I find him? By his license plate. <laughs> and if he's not 
with these cars. Then his driver will be. Grab him and make him talk. Don't be afraid to use force. Who? Me? Who? Me? I'm a loving guy. Pulled up the schematics on the ministry. They've got a laser security grid online in the courtyard. So I stay out of the courtyard. Don't let them trigger any alarms at all. We still don't have any official approval from the Joint Chiefs for this operation. So one slip up and it's mission over. One slip up and your face is mission over. <laughs> God, I'm stupid. Okay, there we go. Um, all right, walking through, sneaking around, sneaky, sneaky. I don't so there. There's a guy. Yeah, I'm looking at the books. Oh, what a nice little book this is. Uh oh. Oh my god. <laughs> That's me. Ever the ninja. I didn't even use any bullets. Although there is a oh there it is. Oh, yeah. All right. Now, is there anything out here to get? Oh, computer. Let's take a look at their computers. These guys really, really, really need to learn password protection. Man. I'm firing the IT guy at this place. Hey, let's see. Krinko looks like that. Computer guy. Let's see. Merman. The solution to not tripping the laser grid is staying out of the damn courtyard, period. But, for the sake of argument, I guess the correctly calibrated thermal optics would enable one to see the lasers. But please, don't try anything that's going to get us into trouble. Well, I'd like to thank you, Mr. Russian guy, for being such a snot, because it wasn't for you. And I wouldn't have had been clued in like that. Oh, there's a guy right No, that's not a guy. That is a statue of, like, linen or something. Probably not actually linen because Cold War's over, but you know what I mean. Okay, why am I sneaking? Switch the lights off and open the door. Oh, jeez. Place is kind of crawling with bad guys. And I don't see, is there anything around here? Now oh, there's that light that I could flip off. Apparently not. All right, um... Is he actually going <laughs> to... Whoops! Turn the light back on! Who did that? Go turn the light back on yourself! That's me. Wow, I decapitated with that. And completely unable to take out a simple light. Look at that. Maybe that light is unkillable. All right, well, that guy's just got his back to me anyway, so maybe it doesn't matter. No. Haha. <laughs> nope, not gonna find and interrogate you because you're just a guard who has also the man P 
people of Georgia, this is my advice. Buy razors, use them on your eyebrows. Or you too may be knocked out by Sam Fisher. All right, I feel like I haven't searched everything yet. I need to loot. That's where I just came in. Probably do need to find a good place to stuff the bodies here. Uh oh. But it's right up here. Yep, sure is. Turn that off. And then we're going to go over and I think, whoops. Yeah, so in this game, C equals crouch, not pull up your character sheet because it is Splinter Cell, so there is no character sheet. But still... Games should get together, and they should all be, like, basically the same. That's what grinds my gears. All right, there we go. Also not being able to see where you're going, and apparently running to a wall for three seconds. I think, I think when you run into a wall in a game, I think you should fall over comically and maybe take some damage. I know uh, people would be angry at it, but you shouldn't run into a wall. That's that's your lesson. That should be... You should always die when you run into a wall. Just out of embarrassment. I think that should be maybe a thing in real life, too. Like, Mark Sanchez would be dead right now if he was, if he was playing a video game designed by me. That's, that's how I feel. Pile the bodies. All right. Okay, so now that I've gone here, let's go loot some more. That looks like the way out. Going to go loot here. Thanks once again for... Yeah, it is Windows. Okay, what's the data stick stay? Oh, from uh, our good friend Merman Kobiashvili. Let's see, President Nikoladze has personally requested that I impress you, I impress on you, I impress you. Hey, look at my gun, it's very long and steely. Impress on you, or upon you, the importance of our guest, the Canadian film master. Oh, Canadians, I knew there was something wrong with this game. Canadians. And Vacheslav Grinko who many of you are already familiar with on less than pleasant terms. Since Grinko has come under President Nikoladze's official employment, his many crimes in Georgia have been pardoned, and he is to be treated with the utmost respect. I likewise ask for your patience with Mr. Massey. They're both key figures in the president's current operations, and security for the next 24 hours should be at its highest state. Please impress this on the men in your charge. He likes to use that term. He's... I feel like it should be impressed this upon, but whatever. I guess Russians don't speak fluent English idiom. And this one. I know there's some people here like, oh, I don't care about the lore. What I do. All right. So from Georgie Cotton Yard. So that's a new guy to Pavel Druzhnikov. Let all your men know that the laser grid in the courtyard is active. I don't want any false alarms caused by this grid. It triggers simultaneous alarms at five separate police and military stations nearby. Okay, note to self, do not run into the grid. Explaining a false alarm is a headache neither of us need. It is, if you absolutely need to go to the courtyard, oh, you can disable the grid from the security terminal in the main hall of the South Wing. Why, thank you, but you better have a good reason. For example, you are a spy slash ninja, and you need to interrogate a driver or something. 
Why don't I just assassinate the the stupid colonel? It seems overly long. All right, here I go. Okay, apparently, oh, something up here. Oh, hey, a little mid pack. So, uh, yeah, nothing really up here, but I guess that's uh, the loot bonus. All right, and down, down. Uh oh. It's good that the Georgians use these old crappy cameras that are loud as hell. Yeah, see, I'm a master at shooting cameras. Camera shooting fool. What does that say? Do not enter. This room is off limits to ninjas. Only enter if you are Georgian samurai. Oh, now that makes me want to go in there. Guess in the exact same place. Yep. These little crappy lights. I like that. That's a nice touch, actually. I know I could shoot them out. Well, theoretically, if it wasn't me, I could shoot them out. A person with better hand-eye coordination, apparently, could shoot them out. Um, and nothing down here, unless it's one of the silent ones. But, uh, yeah, I kind of like that, that those are there. That's like the cheap-ass Georgian lighting. All right, so there's another camera around here. Oh, there he is. Nice and easy. Okay, well, I guess you can only do that one way. Don't really know why I'm doing this, but yeah, what the heck. It's got to get my workout in, man. It's like well, I was doing those squats earlier, that last episode of the episode before. Got to see. This is hard work. Like apparently, you have to have very, very flexible feet. Really, don't know why I'm doing this. Anybody out there? I don't really see anybody. I don't hear a camera yet either. Oh, there. Vague, very, oh, there he is. I think I'm going to need to sneak closer to it, though. Yeah, now as uh, stealth games go, this is a this is actually you know obviously one of the one of the great stealth games ever made. It's not the best stealth game ever made though. Uh, that would be a little game that I would like to call Sneak King, uh, made for Burger King in the uh, the mid two thousands. Uh, that truly was the greatest game ever made. You played the Burger King. Uh oh, there was a guy over there. Oh, there he is. And uh, yeah, so the Burger King uh, would go in and he would sneak around and he would um, he would sneakily hand uh, fries uh, to people. If you like. Where's he going? OK, so he's wandering off over that way. That's nice. Don't think I could shoot these lights out. These look like these lights are protected. However, he also, well, maybe I can just run past. Anything down here? Nope. 
There's a bunch of nothing. Which is kind of something, but not really. Oh, he's walking back. Crap. Oh, wow. Uh, that was awfully well lit, wasn't it? Damn it, I don't have anything that I can throw. Ah. Uh. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, it was all of my part of my plan. What the hell? I'm going to ask you some questions. When I think you're lying, I'll do this. I. Who do you work for? Vyacheslav Brinko. Tell me about him. He used to be Spetsnaz. Now he's mercenary. He works for President Nicholas. Where do I find Brinko? He's meeting mass in the elevator by the courtyard. Some computer guy. He has access to Nikoladze's office. What's this meeting about? I don't know. I swear, it's gonna be something bad if Nikoladze is willing to see Grinko face to face. I need you to understand. We never talked. I understand. Good. Convince me we never talked. If anybody finds out, Grinko will murder me. And you're frightened of Grinko. Fuck yeah! I swear, I've already forgotten you. Oh, well, if uh, your fear of Grinko doesn't make you forget, uh, this uh, s severe head trauma will. There you go. Weather-wise, it's such a cuckoo day. Yeah. You just say those words and we'll be those words and the act. A pool go bay. It is perfect for a flying honeymoon. They say, come fly with me. Come fly. Let's fly. Back up. Let's fly away. Back a small bag, by which I mean I want to do it.